Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. As I'm broadcasting live here on YouTube, I'm scanning for comments and questions from the uh, chat box because I can see your comments live as they pop in. And Nilesh Prahajamnilik, don't feel bad. I certainly don't because I slaughter everybody's handle. Hey, Chris, I'm going to purchase an iPad in the next few weeks, and I don't know which model to go with, a Wi-Fi or 3G model. My question is advantage or disadvantage of purchasing 3G iPad model over Wi-Fi. Uh, well, I, I tell you this. Uh, I have an iPad 2 3G. I had uh, an iPad first generation 3G, uh, and I haven't used the 3G feature yet. Uh, I get online either by connecting to uh, my local Wi-Fi network here, uh, or, you know, if I'm out and about, I may tether to my iPhone, and when I do that, I can get just as many features to my iPad 3G as I would if I had just a, a regular old Wi-Fi iPad. Uh, so, the next generation iPad that I am likely to buy, no matter what they do with it, unless it's like a massively radical departure from what has been done with the iPad, uh, is, is likely going to be just an iPad Wi-Fi. I don't know, the, 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 wi the, the iPad 3G, not as interesting anymore. To me, so I'm looking at getting just an iPad Wi-Fi only uh, the next time out, and uh, that's based on my experience over the past couple years with the 3G model. So my recommendation to you is uh, tether to another uh, device or a network and stick with Wi-Fi unless you don't have another uh, mobile device or Wi-Fi isn't prevalent where wherever you happen to be. Save some money.